Hi guys, today we are going to talk about fondant and some similar products. So I also, we are going to do a little taste test. And I actually, we did that and I was pretty surprised with the results because what I thought was my favorite is probably no longer my favorite, which is a little disappointing. Okay, so these are the three, I think, most popular types of fondants, the three, at least for me, that I use the most. We have Wilton's fondant, I have Sad Nice fondant, and I have Renshaw fondant. I will also talk a little bit about some alternative products. I have modeling chocolate, and I'm going to talk about gum paste as well. Text. <laughs> Ty Luce, not gum text, it's Ty Luce, gum text. Whatever, it's this one. So these are the these are the three fondant types that I use the most that I'm more, more familiar with: the Wilton one, the Satin Ice, and the Renshaw. They are all very different. And I'm gonna start with the Wilton one. We're gonna open this packet and we're actually gonna do a taste test today because it's been a long, long, long time. Like seriously, it's been probably about 10 years since I've used this fondant. And I'm hoping that by now they've improved the flavor because that was my, my one complaint about this one is that I hate the flavor of it. But it is really easy to work with for beginners. It is... Yeah, it still t doesn't smell like... It doesn't smell like candy or food. It smells, I don't know, chemically. So this is it. So this one I like because it's very firm and when you stretch it, um, it's like if you're covering an irregular shape cake or if you're going around the edges, it, it, it seems to hold its shape more. And um, when you mix it with some gum paste, some uh, gum text, it actually makes for really good gum paste to make flowers and stuff like that. Um, I think the con with this one is the flavor, so I, I don't use it. And the good thing about it is that it's easy to find. Uh, most stores carry it, so it's not expensive and it's easy to find. Here is the Satin Ice. This is probably the, well, not probably, this is the one that I use the most because it, it comes, the colors are really nice. All right, so let's compare the color. This is the Sad Nice. Um, it tastes really good. It's in, I guess, closer to the softness of the Wilton, maybe slightly softer. It's uh, nice and stretchy, and it doesn't rip easily. So you see how I'm stretch, I'm stretching and folding, and it's starting to rip. But when you're covering the edges, it's very, um, it works really well. The one thing about this one is that, that it does dry pretty fast. So you need to work really fast. And when you cover your edges, you need to be pretty fast and get your edges nice and smooth pretty much immediately. And then once you're done covering it, it's really not easy to go back and, and, and finish things off. Like you see, I have that little thing there. It's not easy to cover up. So this is my other favorite one. I like to use this one when I'm covering. I don't use this one when I'm covering a regular size shaped cakes, like with little sharp edges and stuff, because this one, it's really, really soft. It tastes delicious. This is the cake, the fondant that, um, that is used in the royal family's cakes, which is, I, it's a nice fact. And the thing about this one is that when you stretch it, it rips really easily. The good thing about this one is that it stays soft for a much longer time. So your working time is a lot longer and you can cover the cake and then go back and still like fix imperfections and cover um, creases and it works better like that. So we're gonna do a taste for certain projects like for gum paste, I don't like using this one. When I add my, my tie loose because it stays soft for too long. So if you want it to dry out, don't use that one. Mm, that one is actually really good. Let's see, this is the, this is the satin ice one. Want to try? Let's see, now the Wilton one. It tastes more artificial. Yeah, I wonder, 
I guess that might be unfair because I am using the, we're tasting the pink one. And the pink one has coloring, so that changes the flavor. So, unfortunately I don't have white one. But this is the, this is the Wilton pink. Let's try that one. I think they've improved the taste though. It didn't, I used to hate it. I didn't totally hate it, but ranch are by far the best. All right, so that's fondant. Let's talk about some alternatives to fondant. So here, Sad Nice just came out with this product that I really love. I haven't tried the, the covering chocolate yet, but I think it's probably really good. But this is modeling, modeling chocolate, which never dries out, so it's great. It's really good to make um, sculptures, little figurines and things like that because it stays pliable forever. You can, oh, look, I made it pink. You can um, let it sit out and it hardens, uh, it retains its shape, let's put it that way. It doesn't ever harden. So if you leave it out, it'll just um, always stay soft. It's really fun to work with. And I love mixing this with gum paste and then you get a firmer, a firmer product, but still with a long working time. This as it is, I would use to maybe sculpt faces, characters, little arms and um, things like that. Not flowers because it doesn't harden. Unless you want to, it depends on what kind of flowers, but I haven't tried it for that yet. I guess you could, but when I mix it with some gum paste, it just retains its shape, it hardens more. So then I would use that, like for example, if I'm building a tree, I could use that to get the tree texture. Um, and oh, so this, uh, this is another product that I really love. This is the Thai Loose Powder by Wilton. And if you mix this with regular fondant, you can um, make really good gum paste. A little bit of information about the products that I like to use. If you have any comments or any experience with other products that you would like to share, please do. I love, I'd love to hear from you guys. I will say that uh, the Rancho is still my number one favorite. And then now I have to say though that Sad and Ice went down a little bit because of the flavor. I thought that Wilton's flavor was pretty much at right there. So I'm going to have to start using this one and give it a try and we'll see in a few months how I like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell or ring the bell or um, click on the bell to get notifications when my videos come out. Thanks.